Spirit goes against Rick Rufus in an exhibition of Thai kickboxing next on the Poor Super Fights Battle of Champions. From the Sands Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the Coors Superfights Battle of Champions series. Good evening, everybody. Welcome once again to another exciting evening of Coors Superfights Championship Kickboxing. I'm Dan Walker, along with my partner, expert analyst John Worley. We've got something a little different for you folks tonight. We're going to take a look at traditional Thai boxing. We have a young man from Thailand here named Chang Pyuk Kit Songrit. I think I, I pronounced that right. <laughs> and, of course, our own Rick Rufus. And, John, this is a little different than we've been looking at, isn't it? Well, it's a lot different, actually. Uh, the rules are going to be a blended set of rules to give the Thai boxers uh, a chance to come out and demonstrate what they do best. At the same time, Rick Rufus will come in here and do what he always does best. And, of course, that's knock people out. And he's, he's predicting that will happen again tonight. But we'll see a different set of rules. Now, in terms of Kit Sangrit, uh, what, what do we look for? Well, typically the Thai boxers come across the ring throwing a lot of leg kicks. They'll kick the legs, the front side, the back side. They like to throw elbows and knees. Elbows and knees will not be allowed in this fight, but you can expect him to get in there and be trying to throw a lot of things in close and trying to kick those legs out from under Rick Rufus. Now, of course, Rick Rufus is a guy we've seen a lot here. He's a, he's a great fighter and uh, uh, a very hard hitter, hard kicker. This is going to be a good fight. Well, you'll see Rick Rufus show more variety of kicking technique than the uh, the tie. Uh, he'll be throwing straight line kicks. I would expect you'll see a lot of side kicks that going straight into the body, uh, some jump back kicks from Rick Rufus wouldn't surprise me, and his hands should be a lot stronger than the ties. But the tie, again, is going to come in with that, uh, that history of kicking those legs. That's something Rick Rufus is not used to. That should be a good one. Folks, make sure you stay with us on this. This is going to be very exciting. It's going to be a little different. It's going to be something I think you're going to like. And we've got it for you right here on Score. Good evening, of course, Superfights Kickboxing. Dan Walker, along with John Worley. This one, this one is a, a match between a Thai fighter, John, and an American fighter, Rick Rufus, who we have seen several times here on the series. A little bit about this. Well, this is really a different kind of a thing because we've got, we've got a, a blended set of rules. We're going to have rules that allow some of the, the kicking to the legs that you've seen or you will see in tie bouts. But they are disallowing the elbow strikes. They're disallowing uh, the knee strikes when the fighters are up against the ropes. Uh, the rounds are three minutes in length instead of two minutes. So it is quite a different thing. Well, and uh, Rick Rufus, of course, is the uh, United States light heavyweight champion. So uh, a guy who is stepping out of his a his, ring, his his area just a little bit. Well, let's go up to our ring announcer, Chuck Hall, for the introductions of this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final event of the evening, featuring five rounds of kickboxing in the middle eight division. Introducing, in the blue corner, fighting out of Bangkok, Thailand. He is 22 years of age, stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, and weighed in at 162 pounds. He has a kickboxing record of 23 wins, 5 losses and no draws, with 12 wins by KO. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing John Fiorek, Fiorek Songrit. And in the red corner, fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He is 22 years of age, stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, and weighed in at 163 pounds. He has a kickboxing record of 28 wins, no defeats, no draws, with 15 KOs. He is the Kick World Super Middleweight Champion, Rick the Jet Rufus. Well, there you have the introductions. Rick the Jet Rufus, favorite here in Las Vegas, and uh, Chiang Pyuk Kit Songret. And we will probably refer to him as Kit Songret for the rest of the night because that's an awful lot of name, and we don't want to do him a disservice by mispronouncing it. Again, if you just joined us, the red headpiece that you see the TIE fighter wearing is a... Grabbing, okay? No kneeing against the rope. Clearly understood. Any questions? 
we're having a blended set of rules. We are having some questions. And we're also having some, some language problems, I would guess, and interpretation problems. I think that probably the fighter again is being uh, explained by his trainer exactly yeah, what these the variation of rules are. Right. The red headdress is a, is a symbol of the school or, the, or what we would call in the state of dojo that uh, the fighter goes to and the tassel apparently has something to do with respect for his instructor. And again, we're looking at the ceremonial waters here being applied to Ketsungre. This is a Thai ceremony that takes place before each fight. And as Bill Wallace explained to us a while ago, what is happening here is Mr. Kit Songrit is telling the crowd and the other fighter basically what he's going to be doing or trying to do in this fight. And again, you wonder what goes through Rick Rufus' mind as he waits for this to happen. Pacing in the corner, I'm not sure that he's particularly shaken up by it, but... Well, you know, I think probably he is concerned. You know, uh, we've seen some of the Thai fighters really come out and really bang away at the legs of their opponents. And Rick Rufus... This guy who is very dependent on those legs, he uh, he does a lot of work with his kicks, and he's going to he's going to he's going to be concerned about that. And one thing for sure too, if Rufus can stay inside of this guy's legs, this, I don't think this guy's probably ever been hit the way that Rick Rufus can hit him. We did have a chance to talk with Rick Rufus earlier in the day to get his opinion on going into this fight, and here's what he had to say. Tonight I will be fighting Thailand's number one contender. I expect it to be a good fight because for me it's the first time I've ever fought under these rules. Tonight I will show these people that I will fight under their rules and I expect it to be a great fight. Well, there you hear from Rick Rufus as the ceremony here preceding this fight continues with Mr. Sungrit, Ket Sungrit, in the ring now. You can see the calf development on these fighters, these Thai fighters, uh, is very large. Uh, the kind of training they do, the kind of fighting they do, John. Well, they go out and they really work on those, those low kicks, and then they'll bring them up to the head, and they condition their legs and shins to be able to take a tremendous amount of punishment. It's amazing to me how they go out and they'll actually go out and bang those shins against, against tree, uh, tree trunks to, to, to kill the, the nerves that run up the front of the shin, and it makes it so they can use them just like clubs, and you can see the... I mean, his, uh, his shins look like about a 10 miles of bad road there. Not this puppy. No <laughs> way. But that is what has happened. Don't see any knee scars on this particular man. Um, we have seen some of the Thai fighters this evening who have shown evidence of arthroscopic, if no other kind of knee surgery. And it's not something you'd be very surprised to see, given that you're allowed to kick the joint. One thing that seems to be giving the Americans a hard time with the, fighting the tires is that the tires like to catch kicks. They'll grab the kicks and then try to counter with by kicking the support leg. Yeah. And that's something that really is supposed to be against the rules. They're, they're not supposed to be allowed to lock in and grab onto the kicks and kick the supporting leg. If they grab the leg uh, and don't kick, they're subject to possibly a warning. If they grab the leg and deliver a, a kick or a punch afterwards, they could be penalized a point. And certainly, of course, that is something that is illegal at any time in American fighting rules. So it will be a, a something for Rufus to adjust to. And frankly, it'll be something for Chet Congress to adjust to because he's not allowed to do something, but he does by reflex in the ring. It should be interesting. Rick Rufus, again, probably hits harder than anybody Chet Congress has run into. The question will be, can he get there before Kit Sangrit gets to his leg. Well, the one real advantage I think that uh, Rick the Jet Rufus will have is that he has tremendous footwork. He's very, very slick in the ring. He moves very, very well. He's not an easy target. He doesn't stand still and let anybody come at him under any circumstances. So he's not going to be an easy guy. He could be causing uh, the tie a lot of problems with his footwork. Well, we are about to find out. In, in a lot of cases uh, on some tapes of tie fighting, I've seen the ceremony.